some really really cool changes for 2020 as you can see I've got my stand-up workstation and my and my exercise bicycle um, I was just checking out uh, YouTube here a minute ago and we've almost got 25,000 subscribers I never would have imagined that we'll talk about that here in a second um, if <laughs> if you notice my attire um, if you haven't seen Chris Moore and more mafia Man, you, you have got to go over to his channel. He is on the gas nonstop. He's smart and he's super fast. I actually got my More Mafia shirt years ago before he was all YouTube cool and things. So, <laughs> anyway, um, 25,000 subscribers. That's a really big deal. Um, we have plans for 2020 already. We have some new motorcycles that we're going to be dealing with um, without letting too much of the cat out of the bag I think you can expect another supercharged vehicle in our future um, looks like there may be a new brand coming in uh, to, to, to get a little go, go fast stupid fast treatment done to it and uh, oh, there's, there's something else on the horizon that I tell you but I'd have to kill you, so we're just going to have to wait on that. So, anyway, in addition to what we're already planning on doing, what would you guys like to see? Um, you always get to see me in my dyno. You don't get to see me here in my office. Um, do you want to know more about Brock's performance, more about me personally? Um, there's all kinds of things we can talk about. Uh, we've been... We've taken a little break. We usually take a break in the winter to get work done. I, I work. <laughs> I'd love to make YouTube videos all day, but I just can't do it. Um, I have responsibilities here, but just mention them in the comments below, and we'll see if we can pick some of them and put them in throughout the season. So, news. Well, we sold Jigzilla. I know. What? We'll get to that here shortly. Um, mentioned my mentioned a collaboration here. We've got some other uh, new people on YouTube, on Instagram. If you watch our social, you'll you'll figure out who they are that we're working with. And um, this whole deal is, I personally have not been down the drag strip in a very long time and the reason for that is is because as a business owner um, I work too much, I drink too much beer and I eat too many chicken wings so I, so I outgrew my leathers um, well I can buy new leathers right but I outgrew my fat leathers and I'm not going to buy super fat leathers so I finally decided to put the work in, I've lost about 20 pounds um, Speaking of leathers, there they are right there. <laughs> I got I to gotta tell you a quick story about these before I, before I see how close I am to being able to fit inside them. Um, I was at a, I was at a AMA Pro Star race. Oh, it's been, wow, 10 years ago. And a good friend, a friend of mine, Corey Hogan, um, had a mishap and fell off of his top fuel bike at 200 miles an hour. He was back at the track with a bandage on his finger, drinking a beer in about 45 minutes. And all he could do is praise how Vance and Leathers really, really worked out for him. So. As soon as I saw that, I walked over to Matt at Manson and I said, listen, uh, I, don't, I don't care what it costs, I don't care what it takes, um, I want what that dude used. So 
I've uh, I've been in these leathers for a long time. Matt, knowing that as we season a bit, as we age a little bit, we have a tendency to expand. So he suggested that we put the uh, expanding material in here. Got it in the jacket. Got it in the pants. Let's see how close I am. This this might be ugly. My uh, my race weight when I raced for Suzuki and set all those records back in the day, I got down to about 140 pounds. Um, I'm naturally over 200. Everyone in my family is. So I think I was about 170 or so when I got these made. All right, so let's see where we're at. Okay, so the problem with these leathers as they are right now is the body inside of it can't breathe and it's very difficult to make fast drag strip passes when you can't breathe. Um, so, I'll be working a little bit harder, putting a little bit more effort into this, and I, you know, knock on wood, these leathers look good, they're not all scuffed, they're not scraped, uh, with the exception of a couple minor starting line nitrous mishaps back in the day. Uh, we'll show you that clip where I blew my hand off. Um, I've been very, very lucky. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, try to get back in my leathers. We'll do some work. And maybe you guys can see what a old washed up has been business owner can do at the drag strip with some of these bikes. But anyway, I don't want to ramble. I mentioned we sold Jixilla. It was, it was a bittersweet decision. But from the beginning, we had wanted to sell the bike after we were finished with it. And... Uh, well, watch this. Hello, we're back. Now, this is a bittersweet moment. Sweet part, we have our friend Jeremy Teasley here, the super, super fast Jeremy Teasley, who is snuggling up with his new motorcycle. So, while the Jixilla series has sort of come towards fruition, it's not like it's over. Jeremy's gonna take the bike out yeah. And you're planning on running in the HTP Super Stock class? Yep. So uh, when your number one guy goes and jumps on a bike like this, and this this thing's all, it's ready to oh, go, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's ready. Yeah, it don't really touch it. Nope. Put uh, gas in it. Put gas in it, go out, and uh, when you rode it last time, you went at 886, mm -hmm. over 160. And I know you would ask about maybe some gearing changes and yeah. some clutch changes just to get things more dialed in for you. We had it primarily dialed in for Mike. Yeah. And uh, so it's going to be interesting to watch where uh, we just put the bike up on the dyno. It made right at 200 horsepower on some old MR12. I think Jeremy's, you, you, you can work with that, can't you? Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, more than enough. All right. And then as far as changes to the bike, um, Maybe maybe the front tire to yeah. get it a little bit lower. Yeah, maybe front tire, play with the gearing, um, like you said, clutch, yeah. shims, and all that. See what I like. Maybe hmm. go some seventies. I don't know. Think That's so. Cool. I hope. Eight seventy stock wheelbase guys with a stock motor, and that if if you're not familiar with Super Sport or the uh, a Super Stock class, it's similar to the old Super Sport class, but. No engine mods are allowed whatsoever. You can't mill the head. You can't degree the cams. You, you really can't. You can't do anything. And if you do anything, you're out. Yep. And they Cecil. claim they're going to be really, really strict on it. So, I went through this. I went through the rule book. <laughs> we actually had to make a, a slight change because some of the th stuff that we could do on the drag strip and on the street was not legal for the class. So we tidied everything up. And uh, we'll go give Jeremy a shot and see what he can do. And, of course, we'll follow his progress. Um, April 10th is the first one. April 10th? Yeah. Is In that Darlington? Darlington? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's another, another one shortly after. Uh, Myra has one, doesn't it? Yeah, XDA. XDA? Uh, I'm, I'm stuck in the old days. So. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. The ceremonial transferring <laughs> of the key and the Thanks, title. Sir. Congratulations, Mr. Teasley. We're looking forward to watching what you can do on this thing. Yep. Can't wait.
Or wide open, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, I, and I mean, that was a chaotic weekend when you ran oh, yeah. with the 880s. I, I felt bad. Jeremy's on this bike and this bike. He's trying to do this. He's trying to do that. And then we go throw him on a stock wheelbase, high horsepower unicycle. And uh, so he really never got a chance no. to get comfortable and still backed up some 80s, right? Yeah. He went like an 86 and, uh, and 80. an 89. Yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. I, so. I knew I'd go 70s, but I just didn't have enough time. Yeah. Earring, clutch, just when, uh, time. Too much stuff in one day. When this young man gets comfortable, going to be ugly. Hopefully. Class is going to be fun to watch. So. Oh, yeah. Anyway, like I said, we'll keep you posted. Um, all things have to move on, right? So here we go. I have a little tear in my eye as you, <laughs> as you roll out of here with this. I like that. It's a fun bike. We've been through a lot together. So, with Jigsova gone, we're going to move on to greener pastures, as they say, and we're going, to, we're going to do a bunch of work. We're going to show you real content, live content that, that really, really matters. Um, not a bunch of gibbly gook and talking and rambling. We, we want you to learn, and we know you want to learn. And uh, So anyway, like, subscribe. Hit the little alarm button so we can pop up on your computer screen. And, uh, oh, shoot. How'd that get there? <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun this year. Stay tuned.